Hi everyone, it's Emma here from Emma Hearts Books channel and I am really flattered to have been asked to be a guest booktuber on Bookish Friends, so thank you guys. And it is a free for all, I understand, so I just decided to do the book collector tag because I was tagged by a couple of people and I'm a little bit short on ideas. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get on with it. First question is how many books do you own? Now I've just counted in that one 165 physical books and 35 e-books, which equals to 200 exactly. Which is kind of weird that it's just stopped at 200. Um, I have got a big bag of books that I'm giving away to charity. And I have got a lot of childhood books that I just didn't count because they're in storage. And I just wanted to count the books that are relevant to me right now. The second question is how long has it taken you to accumulate your collection? I'm not entirely sure. I will say that since I've started booktubing I have bought entirely more books than I did before I was booktubing. I didn't really start buying books the way I do now until last year maybe, 2012. But I have always bought bits and bobs of books but I've never been as obsessive about collecting books as I am now. So I would say that those books have just accumulated from 2012. Put it this way, this time last year I hadn't even filled a little bookshelf and now I've got a really tall like six foot bookshelf completely full. A Kindle with 35 books on even though I'm holding it upside down and books everywhere in the house. So I would say it's taken me about a year. Question three is how often do you buy books? And I can tell you that it's entirely too often. I get paid fortnightly and 60% of my income must go on books if not more. I buy books whenever I go at the grocery store. I buy books on my Kindle when I'm bored. I order books off Amazon during Google Hangouts. I am just constantly buying books and that is because I get recommended so many great books by all of you guys and other booktubers that as soon as I hear of a good book I just have to buy it. I have tried to calm down my book buying habits but it just hasn't worked so I'm just kind of go, going to go with the floor and say I'm a book collector. I don't drink and I don't smoke so I might as well spend money on something that brings me joy. Question four is how do you arrange your books? And I must say I don't intentionally arrange my books, it just kind of happens. I kind of put them by genre and by colour. So on the very top shelf of my bookcase I have kind of classics, history books and I have all my Cecilia Ahern books and all my Stephen King books. On the next shelf I have series like Twilight, the House of Night series, the Hunger Games, that kind of thing. On the shelf below I just have kind of YA Contemporary. The shelf behind me I have a couple of hardbacks there and then the rest are YA Contemporary. Below me I have some classics and some more chick lit and on the bottom I have a lot of Question five is what is the first book you can remember buying? Now I can't remember buying any books when I was younger. I can remember like book fairs and stuff coming to school but I can't remember actually buying a book with my own money until this one and that's Sarah Manning's Let's Get Lost which I've mentioned in a lot of my videos. She is my favourite author. I bought this a long time ago as you can tell the pages are all yellowing. When I was a younger teenager and I went into WH Smith with some pocket money and this is what I picked Question up. Question six is what is the last book you bought and that is Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. I have just finished The Vincent Boys and The Vincent Brothers and I absolutely fell in love with Abby's writing. So I bought this with, I think I had £5 left in my bank and this was like £1.79. So I bought this. Question number seven is what is the longest book you own? And it has to be Stephen King's It. It is an absolute beast of a book. It is about... It's 1,376 pages long and <laughs> I've been dying to read this book for so long but it just looks so scary and, and daunting. And finally question number 8 is what is the shortest book you own? And it is Because He Said He Loved Me by Nicole Lofton. This was about 18 pages long and it was utter drivel. I have never read a book with so many grammar mistakes or punctuation mistakes I was just so glad that it was only 18 pages or else I definitely wouldn't have read it so that was everything guys I really want to thank everyone at Bookish Friends for asking me to be a guest booktuber it's been an absolute honour and I've been really excited to be on your channel so I will talk to everyone later bye